Hi everybody, welcome back to another Beat the Expert here with David Elstod, the auctioneer from Ripon. And David has three unbelievably interesting antiques and very valuable actually for you to test your valuing skills against David. So he's been doing this long enough, see if you can beat him, beat the expert. So the idea is he'll give you the description and the valuation, then we'll watch the item sell give you his estimate, see if you can get closer to the hammer price. It's easy enough. And we're going to start with, I mean, a cracking pair, David. Wonderful. First of all, how much are they, what are they worth? Four to six thousand. Four to six thousand pounds. Keep that in mind. Go for it, David. What are they? Um, these are by Jörg Jensen, um, a really, really good, well-known Danish silversmith made of sterling silver. Jörg Jensen really started producing silver items of jewellery in the early 20th century. These date to the mid 20th century, but they're a lovely pair of Tarsers. And this is his grape pattern, which is one of his most well-known designs. Now, do you call them Tarsers? I call them Tazers. Tazers, yes. Tazers, Compotes, Compotes, yeah. Tazers. He's, he's just trying to be posh, Tarsus. That's what he's doing. I'll try. <laughs> Go on, continue. Um, These are amazing. Nice set of marks on Jörg Jensen, Silversmiths, Denmark, Sterling, with the model number on, which you find on all his pieces. They have model numbers. Unusual to be a pair? Yeah, you don't, you know, yeah. To, to find yeah. a pair's nice, there's some marriage value in that. Right, of course. You know, yes. a, sing, a single Tarsus, well, you're probably 1,500 to 2,000. For a single one okay yes um so as a pair we do add a little bit of value on there i think that's a good rule in actual fact isn't it if you've got a pair of something at home and you're thinking about selling one and keeping one i mean it does happen yeah. or giving one to a family member or, or whatever don't do it no, keep don't. them together yeah because a pair is worth what three times the price of a single i i, I see a lot of it sets of candlesticks sets of four your candlesticks and georgian times came in big sets yeah. and they get broken up and split yeah. up and you know yeah so the rarity it is in the numbers of, yeah. of the items so two is great four is even yeah. better that would be amazing what is the market where is the market is it uk based or abroad uk and abroad a lot of collectors obviously in denmark as you'd expect yeah there is there are american collectors also yeah um, but but because jensen retailed he had agents in the uk yeah retailing and things so there is a big there's a UK following too. But with Jensen, it's ordinarily jewellery, isn't it? Ordinarily jewellery, more often than not, in silver. Um, this very simple, straight lines, um, very arts and crafts. Yeah. Um, but we, we do see, he did do larger items as well. We sell a lot of Jensen silver, both jewellery and table pieces. And do you think the American market is strong for this? It is um, reasonably strong. We, uh, as a firm, use a few American live bidding platforms. Right, okay. And, uh, I did check this morning, we already have bids on these. Ah, right, um, good. Ah, okay, you've yeah. got bids on. We can't reveal how I much can't. the bids are. But then, um, yeah, so. Um, so you, you, are you confident? I'm confident. Ah, look at the smile <laughs> on that face. Think of the commission, he's smiling. Don't okay. get too carried away. All right, fair enough, is that a top tip? So <laughs> four to 6,000 is the guide when David sells them up there on the rostrum. You'll watch them sell. In a moment, he's got bids on them, but how much do you think they're going to sell for hammer price? Give us a prediction. Go on, give us a figure. I think they might touch 5,000. Okay, 5,000, David saying, see if you can beat the expert. Here we go, <laughs> we'll watch them sell. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. 347, a pair of Danish sterling silver great pattern tarses by Jörg Jensen. Great things, a lot of interest in these. I've got 4,002 bid on Invaluable. 4,002 I'm bid on Invaluable. I've 4,002. They're on Invaluable at 4,002. I'll take 4,004 next. 4,002 I'm bid on Invaluable. I've 4,002 bid, do I see 4,4? I've 4,002 bid then, are we all done and finished? I'm selling to the bidder on Invaluable at 4,200. All done, 4,002. 4,002. To buy 8006. How did you do with those? Uh yes, indeed. How did you do with those two? 4,200 hammer price. How close was your guess? Right, let's move on to item number two. You're going to like this. 
Oh, now if you love jewellery, go on, David. What have we got? A bit of bling. Bit of bling. Good, good bling. Okay. Good, good bling. Yeah. Is there anything other than good bling? I like a bit yeah, of bling. Yeah, this is good bling. Okay. This is five to eight thousand pounds worth of good okay. bling. Okay. That serious bling. Five to eight thousand pounds. Get your thinking heads on. How much do you think? this set is going to make an auction give us the description david lovely thing this is by a fabulous name van cleef and arpels <laughs> um, a fabulous jewelry house um, with a rich rich history this isn't an antique piece by them i guess looking at the style and things it's probably 70s or something like that yeah but it's bang on trend oh that, isn't it, it is i mean it's fabulous quality we've got a lovely neck kind of choker necklace and a pair of earrings with diamonds and then two color gold <laughs> And then various stones, we've got amethysts, we've got tourmalines, we've got sapphires. Lovely, lovely thing. Uh, it's serious But stuff. it is the name as well, you know, Van Cleef and Arpels. It's just a great name. It, it's a, what is the history of the firm? I mean, do you, do you know much well, about it? Well, it? It, it goes back hundreds, hundred plus years. Yes. I mean, for, known for their quality of diamonds and things like that, yeah. and the cuts of their stones. I mean, it's just a, a fabulous name. It's a bit like Cartier, isn't it? it yeah. Exactly. In a way, People that's... Want it. It's all you have to say. I mean, I always think on something like this, without the name, you can knock a thousand pounds off the estimate. That's what I would say. The name adds a thousand, in my opinion. It's got to, even yeah. more probably in a case like this, because you know instantly you've got that guarantee that it's yeah. just mega Rooney quality. But it's just, it's just very nice and fabulous quality. Stones are lovely colors, nice heart-shaped mounts. Oh, it's serious it's stuff, Lovely Dave. weight in the hand. It's a really good thing. Now, how did that come into your possession? We, um, Melanie, our jury specialist, found it. Um, some clients uh, came in one day to a jury evaluation day we're holding here. Yeah. Specialist days we have regularly. Um, they had quite a number of pieces of silver and jewellery, and this nice. was this <laughs> is one of them. Um, and they'd bought it at auction. Good recycling, you know. Bought it at auction ten years ago. Yeah. Upgraded, so sell yeah. one, buy another one. Yeah. So um, yeah, very green. Well, it isn't that the case? Because it's only been manufactured once and it's been sold at least three times yeah. now once you've, so yeah. you've sold it. So, you know, you can't get more environmentally yeah. friendly than something like that. As glamorous as it is, it's doing no harm to anybody or any part of the environment. No. That's, I think, important these days. So estimate again? Estimate is five to 8,000. Five to eight thousand pounds. Wow! I just think that's the kind of thing that somebody with a bit of money is going to love it, want it, and not not care how much they pay for it, but possibly push it to the outer limit. And all you need is a couple of those. It, it might be something that appeals to the Chinese market as well. Interesting, um, because they do love it. They like a name. They like a strong brand. They do. They do like these terribly yeah. upmarket brands. So that I could see it appealing to the Chinese. Okay, and you've got a worldwide market. We have a lot of Chinese buyers. Okay, yeah. that will be very interesting to see if it wings its way to China. Okay, give us give us an idea. What what's your gut instinct? I think uh, Mel's estimates are normally absolutely spot on. Right. So um, I think it'll. Yeah, I think she'll be bang in the middle somewhere, 6,000 that area. Okay, I'm going to go slightly above. I'm going to go 7,000 quid because if I had the money, and I wouldn't buy it for myself, if I, if I had the money, I would buy it for somebody. Yeah. And I think what a gift. And I don't know when you're watching this video, but we're heading up to Christmas whilst... We're not, are we? Yeah, we are. Sadly, I know, humbug and all of that. <laughs> but, you know, the market does boom for things like this at this time of year. Yeah, so cute cute selling period yeah, i think i reckon seven ish david reckon six ish Sish. what do you reckon see if you can beat david see if you can beat me okay good luck thank you back in a sec okay there you have it five to eight thousand pounds now if you watch these videos regularly you will know that david elstop has a dreadful reputation for just disappearing for a tea break he's done it again but this is mel and mel is one that found this piece of jewelry uh, 1491 gemstone and diamond necklace with the earrings here bid with me at four thousand pounds now four thousand pounds for the gemstone necklace four thousand pounds it's four two on easy life four thousand two hundred on easy life it's four four with me four thousand four with me four six on easy life four thousand six hundred on easy life for the necklace four thousand six hundred on easy life it's um, four eight with me 408 with me, 5,000 on Easy Life, 5,000 on Easy Life for the diamond and gemstone necklace. And lovely designers with the matching earrings, 5,000 pounds is bid on Easy Life. 5,000 on Easy Life, 5,500 will be next if you'd like to try again. 
it's £5,000 bid on Easy Buy. I can sell at £5,000. Fair warning. Well, there you have it. I got completely carried away with my valuation at £7,000, so I was very wrong indeed. What about you? How close were you to the final hammer price? Wow. Hello again, everyone. How have you gotten so far? Um, got another little gem for you now. Yeah, go on. Not as big a value this time, three to four hundred pounds. Three to four hundred. Well, bear in mind what we've been witnessing so far. That seems yeah. positively cheap. Pretty thing. And been a lot of interest in this already. OK, tell us about it. Um, it's a 19, a Tomac 1920 London by a company called Aaron Brothers. Silver and enamel. Yeah. That's what we call a strut clock. Strut clock, why? Strut clock, because the easel back on it struck back. Fair enough, yeah. Um, very pretty, and we've found over the last year, Tim, that enamel's doing very well. Anything oh. silver and enamel, boxes, clocks, doing really well. Now, that's interesting you say that, because a lot of people think that the antiques business is kind of a bit stagnant. And it, an antique is an antique, and it yeah. always has a value, and it might increase in value a little bit. But it's like any other business. It, it, it ebbs and flows in yeah. fashion, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So you're saying that this kind of early 20th century enamel silver is more fashionable now than it was a it, few years it, ago? The market's definitely a bit stronger, I Funny think, enough. for it. Yeah. Um, obviously, it depends how decorative the enamel is as well. The big thing for enamel always is the condition of it. Yeah. Because to get enamel repaired is very, very expensive. And it's very expensive to make when you think about the mm. process. Enamel is basically molten glass, isn't yeah. it? Dropped into a little cell, cut out in the yeah. silver. So, I mean, the, the process of making these things when new uh, was terribly involved and yeah. very expensive, which means it's really good quality. Yeah, it's very pretty, this one. It's lovely kind of guilloche enamel pattern, this repeating pattern. And it's, it is enamel painted as again with these floral swags on top of the enamel. So just very, very pretty. And it screams that just post First World War. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's quite Edwardian going into decor. Yeah, um, it's it, it's a little bit chocolate boxy if you like, but yeah, very nice quality with it. Really nice quality, yeah. and is it an alarm? Um, I think it does have an alarm on this Looks one. Looks like it has yeah, an alarm. Yeah, it does have an alarm on this one. Yeah. So there you go. If you want a really, really posh travelling alarm clock, that is the thing to take with you on your trips, on business, on holiday. I, I would seriously take that with me somewhere. I really would. would. I uh, genuinely would. Special weekend away or something. Not yeah. when you're filming, working and staying in like <laughs> Premier Inns. No, right? Definitely not. <laughs> but if I was going away for a nice weekend, a posh hotel, yeah. why not? Take some nice luggage yeah. and something like that. It just adds to the journey, especially yeah. if you're in a classic yeah. car. Seriously, it's all. Yeah, I, I get it. about I get experiences, it. Yeah, David. I get it. I get, get it. with the programme. OK. So, uh, estimate again, go on. Three to four hundred. Sounds cheap to me. I just think because you, you, you've set the bar high I with know. everything else we've well, sold. I, I, think it, I think it will make around three, three forty. Okay, okay. I'm going to go post four hundred. Okay. I think it will do strong. over four hundred. Probably, personal thing, I would buy it, right? I would. It's not going to be you bidding, is it? No. I, I'm, I, <laughs> we should make a law. I should not be allowed to bid. Yeah. Oh, we're, actually, we can do what we like. I might. Anyway, yeah. over to you. I say 400. David says 3 to 350. He's going to sell it now. Last chance to perform. And don't forget, let us know how you do. Good luck. Good luck. One seven seven the Continental Silver and Amber Strip Clock. It's a very pretty clock. This our statue away here. We photographed the back of it for some reason though. On Easy Live. Good choice of photograph. Two hundred and forty on bid. Two forty. I'll take two sixty. Two hundred and forty bid. Two forty. Two sixty. Two eighty. Two eighty. Two hundred and eighty bid. 300 bid, 300 bid on the salary, at 300 bid, it's on the sale with 300, I see 320 anywhere, a pretty enamel strip clock, at 300 pounds and the bid is on the sale room, at 300 pounds, we all done and finished, at 300, all done, 300, we've got that one right. Not me, I got carried away yet again. Hi everyone, we're here, we've got coffee this time, feeling a bit perkier. <laughs> yeah. um, I hope you all did really well. It was good that, well yeah. done, well Thank done, you. some really nice things. And have you got anything as interesting for the next one? Oh yes, 
Brilliant. <laughs> OK, now there's a promise. Oh, yes. All right. Well, I hope you did well. See you next time. We'll be back very soon. I'm David Harper. Cheerio. I'm David Elstob. Bye for now. Cheerio. Thanks again for watching, everybody. All likes, shares and comments greatly appreciated. Cheers.